Start with a strip of paper. End up with a lunar moth. Guarantee. Once you've started these projects and stayed, you'll make more than one. They'll invade. All have six or eight legs, but they'll never lay eggs, so you won't have to spray them with Raid. Start with a strip of paper one inch wide by eight and a half inches long. Cut it in half along the dotted line. Here are the two halves. Cut one of them into two pieces along the dotted line. One should be about twice as long as the other. Set the other half aside for now. Here are the two pieces you cut from one of the halves. Set the short one aside and fold the long one in half. Cut the shape of the front wings along the dotted line. It doesn't have to be exact. Each moth will be slightly different. Here's the front wings shaped. The next photo shows them unfolded. Here are the front wings opened. Now set them aside and bring back the small piece. Here's the smaller piece which will become the back wings. Fold it lengthwise along the dashed line. The piece has been turned so that the fold is on this side. Now cut on the dotted line. Again, don't worry about being absolutely exact. This shows the back wings shaped. The next photo shows them opened. And here they are opened. Now bring back the front wings. Place them on top of the back wings and see the moth starting to look like a moth. Now put these two pieces aside and bring back the second half of the original 8.5 inch strip. We're back to the second half of the original 8.5 inch strip. Fold it in half along the dashed line. Cut along the dotted line leaving about 3 eighths of an inch uncut on the tail end. Cut along the dotted line to shape the tail, like this. Then bring back the smaller back wing piece to be inserted onto the body. Insert the back wings onto the body as shown. The back wings are in place. Now bring out the other front set of wings. Insert the front wings onto the body as shown. Notice the front wings go on top of and inside the back wings. Both front and back wings are in place. The next photo shows a closer view. Here's a closer view of both sets of wings on the body. Take the leg piece closest to you and weave it under, then over the narrow body piece, then inside itself. Gently and gradually snug the woven leg down and flat as shown. Then turn the figure over to repeat on the other side. Weave this leg under, then over the narrow body piece, then inside itself, as on the other side. Gently and gradually snug this leg down and flat, as on the other side. Then cut the legs to about three quarters of an inch. After the legs are cut, cut along this dotted line to give the legs a little taper. Now make two cuts as indicated on the dotted lines to create three pairs of legs. The next photo gives you a closer view of the three sets of legs. Fold the three legs on this side up into a fan shape along the dashed lines as shown. Then turn the figure over and repeat on the other side so that all six legs are folded up. This photo shows all six legs folded up. Now fold each leg on this side down on the dashed lines as shown to create a joint in each leg. Then turn the figure over and repeat on the other side. We have six jointed legs. Now cut along the dotted line to create a pair of antenna. Press gently between the antenna to separate them a little. Adjust the legs so the moth can stand. And you're finished.